It's a brittle and mostly barren landscape. But for around six weeks a year, this northern tundra is home to a unique visitor, passing through on its annual migration. And along with it, a multi-million dollar ecotourism industry. This is what brings people from all over the world to northern Manitoba, a chance to see polar bears in the wild as they make their way north to the ice for the winter. The bears are here because of the three freshwater sources that flow into the Hudson Bay, which make this area freeze the fastest. The sooner the freezing, the quicker the bears can get out and uh, get doing what they need to do, which is consume a lot of food quickly. Unlike bear in the high Arctic, the western Hudson Bay subspecies spends warmer months on land, but global warming is threatening their existence. Wildlife biologist Mike Goodyear says the nearby Hudson Bay is melting earlier and freezing over later every year, choking off their only food source. Over the last 20 years or so, the polar bear population in the Churchill area has declined by about 22 percent. And current research uh, shows that this is largely due to the fact that uh, bears are spending uh, more and more time on land. Polar bears almost exclusively feed on ring seal. And ring seal are an ice-loving species of seal. Uh, without the ice surface, uh, the polar bears are unable to hunt. <coughs> Less time on the ice for the dwindling bear population has meant more time in habitat shared with humans, often in the search for food. This mother and one of her cubs had to be sedated by conservation officers after her other cub got caught in this bear trap at the town of Churchill's dump. Nuisance bears are brought here to what is called the polar bear jail, a holding compound filled with rows of cement cells that can hold up to 28 bears at once. They often spend several weeks in the unique facility, which is situated on the outskirts of town, before they are airlifted further north so that they can carry on with their migration. But for residents of Churchill, known as the polar bear capital of the world, living amidst the iconic Arctic species is a celebrated fact of life. Well, actually, it's normal to me because I'm used to it, you know. I was brought up with it. I'm not really worried about it. The province of Manitoba declared polar bears a threatened species two years ago, and biologists are urging Canada to follow suit this year. Whether the federal government does may not be enough to save this great symbol of the North from the already visible effects of global warming. Imtiaz Tayeb, Al Jazeera, Churchill, Manitoba, in the subarctic.